Hello, my dear students. Good afternoon. Now we will discuss about the preparations of uh, carboxylic acids. We discussed already the preparations. So here I was given hydrolysis, hydrolysis of uh, acid derivatives. Hydrolysis of what? Acid derivatives. Acid derivatives on hydrolysis you will get carboxylic acids actually one of the product okay so here esterific ester hydrolysis i was given okay so nitrile hydrolysis let's see or acid halide uh, acid halides hydrolysis anhydride hydrolysis i was given now hydrolysis hydrolysis of nitriles Nitriles means do you know cyanides, HCl like that. Addition if you add HCl to a particular uh, compound and HCl on hydrolysis always converted to carboxylic acids I was given already. So cyanides suppose R C triple bond N is there. So suppose HCl to particular aldehydes and ketones I was given. Then cyanide on hydrolysis further converted to carboxylic acids. This RC will go on with water, acid hydrolysis and H plus. Now what happens means R C double bond go OH. So actually this happens. This completely breaks C will go on RCOH and this nitrogen will come out as uh, NH4 plus with this H plus. So we can call it as uh, NH3 and H plus. So this H plus will add first. Okay, if you see the mechanism, you can understand easily. Whatever, suppose uh, we add, uh, we take in this uh, C6H5, C6H5, C triple bond N with water in presence of H plus, this cyanide group convert to COH. Then what you are having? RC double bond O C, sorry. Instead of R, here what you have? C6H5. So C6H5 and C double bond O, OH, benzoic acid. If it is in methyl group, CH3 group, then here CH3 you will write. CH3COH you will have. And further nitrogen will come out as NH4 plus actually, but NH4 plus like this. But that NH4 plus is nothing but NH3 and added H plus. Understood? Total, you have NH4 plus like that. Understood? So, this is the amount of preparation. If you have a methyl here, methyl you have right. First, you write on the reaction. Now, I will give you the mechanism for this. Okay. So, what we did first? We added water and H plus. So, first what happens for this? R, C, triple bond, N. First, H plus will add. So, how H plus will add? H plus will add on nitrogen because nitrogen is more electronegative. Right? So pi bond shifting, how we can come to know? See this pi bond uh, migrating towards nitrogen. How I can uh, come to know? Nitrogen is more electronegative, so bond always shift towards more electronegative. Right? So positive charge with more number of carbons is more stable. That we know already. So this n minus and H plus. So what you have here are C double bond NH and on carbon positive charge. Why on carbon positive charge you have? Because this pi bond migrated towards nitrogen. So carbon got positive charge. So now you will add water. Water is acting like nucleophile here. Understand? So lone pair is there. No? This is like a nucleophile. So nucleophilic addition on this positive carbon. So what happens here, R, C and R, C and double bond N, H and here you have on, off, on carbon, you have water like this, water and on oxygen now positive charge. Why on oxygen positive charge sir? Because oxygen donated lone pair. So R, C, O, H and H, H2O. 
Okay, so now what happens? Very simple. Now this happens like H plus will be moved. So this will go there. So what happens here? Okay, so here this this will come on here H plus and this bond if migrate carbon gets what charge? Positive charge. No? So if migrating towards here, this gets positive charge and if this migrated over here, oxygen will be neutral because H plus will be moved. So this nitrogen gets minus. So what happens now? Let's see R and C and this will be OH. OH you have and H plus gone. Understand here? This bond migrated, H plus will be moved because oxygen have oxygen must have two bonds only. So here oxygen have three bonds. Oxygen can account at three bonds, but oxygen with two bonds is more stable. So H plus will be moved, that H plus will add on this nitrogen. So now this will be like a single bonded. So NH2 plus. Oh sorry, no positive charge on it. Sorry. And <coughs> okay. So now here you have a positive charge again. Got it? So what happens next? Again we have to add water molecule. So water molecule uh, we are adding H2O. So lone pair and that will be here. So what you have here sir once again RC and OH and here you have uh, uh, MH2 and here you have OH2. Okay? So so H here, so on our oxygen again positive charge here. What did it understood? One more water molecule I was added to this uh, positive carbon. Suddenly again same story, this will come over here. And that positive, this H plus will add on this lone pair. Now what you have here, RC and OH. And uh, here also OH you have. Understand it? So otherwise I will write here. No problem. So I will write, I will continue here. So what happens? This bond migrated, H plus and NH2. So what do you have, sorry? R and C and OH and here also OH and here NH3 plus. Why are nitrogen positive charge? This bond migrated now. So this become H plus and H plus added on this nitrogen and nitrogen donated lower pair to this H plus so NH3 plus understanding? listen carefully if you are not understanding just go back once again what I am saying just listen carefully so this bond migrated so it will be H plus H plus added on this nitrogen and between this H plus and between nitrogen there is a day to bond that's why NH3 plus why are nitrogen positive charge understood? MH2 and this lower pair use it to form a bond to this H plus now what happens? Very simple. So one of the bond will migrate like this. Any one of the OH bond. OH, OH you have now. So one of the bond will migrate. Suppose here you have OH bond clearly. So this bond if migrated over here. So NH3 will come out. So H plus is going. And between carbon and oxygen there is a double bond. So NH3 will be moved. So what you have here are C and double bond O and here we have OH and this NH3 gone okay now NH3 and this NH sorry this NH3 plus become NH3 only because this bond is migrating towards nitrogen so this NH3 and this H plus will remove as the NH3 as well as the H plus will remove I said in previous also so this NH3 removed and H plus removed this NH3 and H plus combined we call this NH4 plus. This is the mechanism. Let's see what happened here. RCN <coughs> became RCOH. Okay, write down this everyone. And practice. What happened you can understand. So first H plus added to nitrogen. So double bond NH. Triple bond became single. Uh, triple bond became double bond. And carbon got positive charge. And on positive charge nucleophile added, the same story next what happened? This H plus will be O and this H plus added on nitrogen. Understand? So NH2. Why NH2 understood? This double bond we can single bond here. The bond migrated, so nitrogen got negative charge, and this is H plus. So NH2. 
on oxygen no positive charge because this bond migrated towards oxygen again on carbon positive charge because this pi bond migrated towards nitrogen so on carbon positive charge on positive charge water was added okay so from water again h plus removed and that h plus shifted to nitrogen and again one of the oh bond broken and co bond become c double bond over here and h plus removed and suddenly double bond means carbon uh, cannot have five bonds no so here double bond forming so double bond single bond single bond four bonds and so this bond will migrate so why this bond only means this bond become weak now nitrogen has four bonds nitrogen is stable with three bonds itself so here four bonds nitrogen with carbon one bond nitrogen with three hydrogen three bonds clearly we have understood that's why i am explaining so this bond migrating towards nitrogen suddenly n has three will remove and h plus that's it so this is about uh, what we call mechanism for the preparation of uh, uh, carboxylic acids from nitriles have a look and write down please okay so next we have to discuss about one more preparation that is you know that already haloform haloform preparations in the sodium hydroxide if you use hydro mm, with hydroform hydroform preparation okay there you will have CS3 suppose and C double bond CS3 when react with I2 and uh, sodium hydroxide we use <coughs> in chloroform preparation we use bleaching powder CaOCl okay that turns to calcium hydroxide later on but with for hydroform NaOH we use okay so NaOH like that if you use C for hydroform test what required again now so alpha carbon must have three hydrogens like that so one of the ch3 group will be forming a uh, carb uh, sorry hydroform okay one of the methyl group this is the methyl group and this is also methyl group. both are both are same so this carbonyl carbon has two methyl groups so one of the methyl group turns to ch i3 hydroform and remaining this part is there no? that will be forming carboxylic acid actually ch3 c double bond to ona so this for further hydrolysis uh, uh, you are having this ch3 coh so during hydroform also the further product is carboxylic acid itself okay suppose here you have like this uh, uh, ch3 and uh, ch2 and c double bond to ch3 this also give hydroform test why this load this is actually alpha and this is also alpha this alpha carbon has three hydrogens this alpha carbon has two hydrogens so which alpha carbon forms hydroform means this alpha carbon form hydroform so this part will be forming carboxylic acid so i2 with sodium hydroxide so remaining are not balancing such the simple thing you have to remember which part will form hydroform and with how many carbons carboxylic acid is forming that is very important so here ch3 ch2 c double bond o ch3 we have this methyl part is forming this ch3 understand so with this remaining so ch3 ch2 c double bond o is forming carboxylic acid that means ch3 c double bond o oh shit sorry ch3 C H two and C O H. This is forming actually. Correct. Even you have something like the C six H five and C double bond O and C H three with I two and with I two and sodium hydroxide given. Then what is the product that is here? See here C six H five is one side and methyl is the other side. So which part will form hydroform? This part will form hydroform. I told the hydroform test already. So, a carbonyl carbon beside carbon is alpha. Alpha must have three hydrogens. So, this alpha carbon has three hydrogens. But come to this here, you have a benzene. So, you said three, but here five you have no sir. No, this is benzene ring actually. C six H five. So, C six H five C double bond O C H three. So, benzene ring means like this also. I can write. Correct. This is called. C six H five H C six H five benzene ring six carbons 
Okay, so now I2 with NaOH, what you have means uh, C6H5 and C double bond O, OH plus this part is uh, forming carboxylic acid and this methyl part is uh, forming CHIT like this. Okay, from jump trihalides I was given in previous, jump dihalides give aldehydes and aldehydes. Two halogens at terminal carbon, aldehydes. Two halogens at any middle carbons, keto. Understand? So, three chlorines or three bromines at last carbon. Last carbon means either left side or, sorry, either right side or left side. Three chlorines you have, then we call them trihalides. Trihalides on hydrolysis, you are having carboxylic acids on hydrolysis. Okay, sir. So, those all are very, very important for us. So, please, you know, like, because uh, they'll ask you like uh, which will give chloroform test on hydrolysis like that. Like, they'll give some like this. And uh, C and CH2 and uh, CCL and CL and CH2 and CH3. This further on hydrolysis H2O given and some X will form. That X will form either form test or not, they will ask you. No, actually, not form. Which will form means actually what is X here? See, this will be X, CH3 and CH2, X I am writing. CH3, CH2 and C and OH and OH and CH2 and CH3. X is not this actually. So from this, water molecule will remove. OH from here, OH from here will remove. Correct? Huh? So now, we are having CH3, CH2, C double bond O, CH2, CH3. Is it form iodoform? No. Okay. Is it form any carboxylic acid and iodoform? They will ask you a question. No. Why? Because this is a carbonyl carbon and this is alpha and this is alpha. This alpha has CH2 and this alpha has CH2. But alpha carbon must have how many hydrogens? To have halophone I told 3. But here only 2 you have. Understanding. So like that, which will form they will ask you. So further hydrolysis. CH3, CCl and Cl. CH2, CH, CH3. So some uh, hydrolysis given and X will form. This X will form on after hydrolysis. The following product will give either form test or not means this will say yes. Yes, I will give this will say. Why? Here X is the final CH3, C double bond O and CH2 and CH3. So with I2, with I2 now, so here I form and this part is carboxylic acid. So like that they will ask you, what will be the carboxylic acid from X, they will ask you. So what will be the carboxylic acid means propanoic acid. Because this is X, CH3 C double bond O, CH2 CH3 is X. What is the carboxylic acid from X means? So this is the carboxylic acid, CH3, CH2, COOH, with three carbons, one, two, three. With this methyl is giving iodoform. Why this methyl only? Because this is alpha and this alpha has three hydrogens. That's why. Where is it? So these are about the preparations of carboxylic acids. Very, very important. Okay. So applications we have to practice much more after understanding all these preparations. These are very, very important. Okay. Next, let's see. <clears throat> Acidic nature. Okay. Acidic nature of carboxylic acids. Acidic nature of carboxylic acids is very important. Why we have to uh, learn this? Means where uh, they'll ask you. What is the correct order of acidic nature? Which of the following is more acidic? Which of the following is less acidic? Like that, they'll ask you. So, according to Bronsted law, acid means what? Acid means which has a tendency to donate H plus ion. H plus means what is the meaning? Proton. So, who donate H plus ion? That is acid. Then how you will say whether acid is a strong or weak based on based on 
ease of donating tendency of H plus. Who donate fast? That is a great donor. Okay, me and uh, me and some other people is there here. Okay, I am standing here and with me and some my friend is there. To donate hundred rupees, I am eagerly waiting to donate. I am easily donating hundred rupees. So who is a great donor? Means me only. Why? Hundred rupees I was donated without thinking, but another fellow, my friend, he is thinking to donate or take or take take later. So some both are donating. That person is giving hundred rupees, me also giving hundred rupees. But who donating fast? Me. So I am strong asset. I am a best donor. Like that, of course, it's natural. So who donate fast? That is a strong asset. Understand? So, how asset can donate uh, H plus ion easily? Let's see. Suppose some H C double bond O O H you have, and instead of H here, some X group is there. Okay, which hydrogen will go? This hydrogen have to go. Okay, that means this bond must migrate towards oxygen. And this bond migrate towards carbon. When it can happen, so these bonds shifting towards this carbon and carbon then happen easily. So when this X group is uh, electron withdrawing group, when this X is electron withdrawing group, then these bonds will migrate towards carbon easily. Why? These bonds have to migrate towards uh, this oxygen, sir, and further this bond must migrate towards carbonyl carbon, sir. Means who is acid? Who donate H plus? So what must happen? X and C double bond O and O minus plus H plus. So H plus came out. Proton donor. Proton donated. So when it can be easy if this X group is electron withdrawing group, so that. This bond will migrate towards oxygen so that H plus can come out easily. Understood sir clearly? So to be a more acidic, what must happen? The groups who attach to this carbonyl carbon or acidic group must be electron withdrawing groups. Electron withdrawing groups means sir, either minus I groups, sir, minus I group or else minus M group or minus R group we call it. If these groups are there, then acidic nature increases. So what will be the final conclusion? Carboxylic acid, acidic character increases if the minus I groups attached. Okay, so minus I groups, minus I groups increases, then acidic, acidic strength increases. Whose acidic strength? Is carboxylic acids as the extent increases minus I groups, which we call them as electron with a drawing group. Okay, so I'll give you one example here. See HC double bond O, OH, and uh, CH3, C double bond O, OH. Okay, who is a strong acid? This is formic acid and there is acidic acid. Formic acid is more acidic. Do you remember? Alkyl groups are plus I groups. So what happens here? Actually, this is donating towards carbon. So what must happen? I said to go H plus outside, this bond must come towards oxygen. So from this side, electron density coming, and from this side also electron density coming towards carbon and carbon, so that here electron density increases. So this acidic can acidic acid cannot donate H plus easily. Okay, so when these can come towards this carbonyl, if this group is withdrawing, but unfortunately, this group also donated. Understanding, if outlet is free, inlet is easy. But here what happened? From inlet, outlet, both electrons are coming here. Understanding, so H plus must go, means bonds must come towards this carbonyl carbon. But unfortunately, this methyl group is the what? Plus I group. So, if minus I group is there, acidic strength increases. But if plus I group is there, acidic strength decreases. So, formic acid, if you see, 
here what you have hydrogen. This is not donor and this is not with join. So there is no donating tendency towards carbon here. Understanding? There is no donating tendency of this hydrogen. Hydrogen don't have any donating tendency to this. Okay, because this is not much polar atom. So this H plus then how comes uh, how this H plus uh, is donating means oxygen is a polar more electronegative. So this bond will migrate. You have that question. So this bond is migrating towards oxygen. Then why not this? Means this carbon is not much electronegative. Do you know hydrogen 2.1? This is just 2.5. So both electronegativities are almost same. But come to oxygen, uh, it's a 3.5. So more electronegative. 3.5 is the electronegative value. I was given in first year electronegativity values and H plus can easily come out. So this is not donating. Certainly this donation towards carbon is more so that H plus can easily come. So that's why formic acid is more um, acidic than uh, this acetic acid. Who is more acidic? Formic acid is more acidic. What is the reason behind it? There is no alkyl group. This is formic acid, COOH, CH3COOH, acetic acid. Understood? So remember, if minus I groups increases, acidic strength of acidic strength of whom? Acidic strength of carboxylic acids, acidic strength of carboxylic acids increases. This is very, very important. Please uh, note it down, everyone. So I will give you many examples for acidic character. So this is not completed, but just given some information. So what required to be more electro, sorry, to be more acidic. So electron with the drawing groups required. More electronegativity groups required. Suppose CH3, CH2, okay, CH3, CH, no, CH3, C double dot O, OH you have and CH2 and Cl, C, C double bond O, OH and CH and Cl, Cl, C double bond O, OH and C, Cl and Cl and Cl and C double bond O, OH Who is a strong acid? So, all are same actually, but hydrogens from this example to this example, if you observe, hydrogens replaced by chlorine. Correct? Right? And here you have three chlorines, here you have two chlorines, here you have one chlorine, here no chlorine. So chlorine is what actually? Chlorine is what? Minus I group, electron with the drawing group. That means minus I group. So, so what happened? This will be the gross electrons towards it. Certainly this will come towards easy. So that H plus can come out easily because this bond is migrating towards us. And come to this, oh my god, three chlorines are there. So three are with the drawing. So here this bond can migrate very easily towards us. So that H plus can come out easily in this case. Three chlorines you have no? CCL3COOH. Okay. Uh, if you see uh, IUPS names, if they given 1, 2, 2, 2, 2, trichloroethanoic acid. 3 times 2, 2, 2. Okay. Trichloroethanoic acid is strong acid because 3 chlorines you have here. So, what is the order of acidic strength? Like this. This is a strong acid. Understand it? Why this is strong acid? Because three with the drawing groups are there. And one more thing, distance also matters. One, two, three, and COOH you have. And one, two, three, and COOH you have. One, two, three, and COOH you have. And chlorines, if you see, here you have. And here at second carbon you have. And here at last carbon you have. Of course, here one, two, three, four. And this is the numbering. And here one, two, three, and four. And here one, two, three, four. So distance also matter. This is alpha and this is beta and this is gamma. So when uh, electron with the drawing group minus I group attached to alpha, strong acid because distance is uh, less. Certainly, with the drawing nature is uh, more here. Certainly, 
who is more acidic means uh, this one is more acidic. Why this one is more acidic? Because this chlorine is attached to alpha carbon here beta means distance increases. This is beta carbon and this is gamma carbon. Alpha, beta and gamma. So gamma carbon means distance is more known. So with the drawing nature is less to this chlorine. All actually these carbons are donating actually. Okay, among these I am asking. So when chlorine is there, minus I go. So with the loss electron. So this is somewhat uh, more acidic compared to the these three. Understood sir? So like this many examples I will give you in our next class and the acidic character in uh, aromatic carboxylic acids also I will explain but till uh, this uh, you have to understand properly. Okay? Practice well.